Well, do you know when you when you got hooked on uh, on the band? Because you were saying, well, the first. Well, band. I wasn't like a super fan. You know what I mean? It wasn't like I was obsessed with them or anything like that. But I saw them open for Mr. Bungle in like in uh, the summer of '99, and I was like, oh, this is really intense, you know. And uh, and I, I went to a uh, to a Candiria show in Baltimore, and a friend, I saw a friend that I hadn't seen in a really long time. And this was in like March of 2001. And uh, he was like, what have you been listening to lately? And I was like, well, I'm you know, kind of really digging on the Steel and Your Skate Plan record, you know? And he's like, oh, I, I think they're going to break up. And I was like, why? And uh, he said, because they, they just split with their singer. And I was like, oh, crazy, you know, that sucks because I thought that was the end of the band. You know what I mean? I was like, that sucks because that band had so much potential, you know? And then uh, a couple days later, I found out they were auditioning the singers. And uh, I just, I emailed, at the time, Ben's email address was on the website, you know, so I emailed Ben and I told him, I was like, man, I've been singing in like local hardcore metal whatever bands for a long time, like I'm not trying to toot my own horn, but I really think I'd be able to like, you know, add a lot to your band. And, uh, and he was like, well, man, send me like a tape of some stuff that you've done, blah, blah, blah. And uh, I sent him a tape and a couple weeks later he called me on a Thursday afternoon and basically was like, can you come up tomorrow, you know, Friday. And I was, and... Uh, what did he tell you? He said, well, he didn't tell me at the time, but later on he told me that him and their old manager, Tom, um, listened to the tape and right away, they listened to it in the car and they said as soon as they heard it that they, they knew, they thought that I was the guy and that they just wanted to make sure that I wasn't an asshole, basically. So <laughs> they had me come up to, uh, to practice with them and I learned five songs um, and went up and played them and then they said that they were like, come back and next Friday and we you know play some more. So I learned another five songs and went back the next Friday. And at that point we had ten songs, you know, pretty, and they were, you know, not that bad. And uh, so they were just like, you know, you're in the band. We're, we're playing a show uh, in in, a, in like two weeks. And what did the friend that, that told you that they were maybe splitting up? What did he tell you when you told him that you were in the band? He didn't really believe me. <laughs> he didn't believe me. He he kind of was like, I saw him like, um, in between the first audition and the second audition, and. He, I hadn't talked to him and I saw him and he was like, what have you been up to, man? And I was just like, oh, you know, just hanging out, blah, blah, blah. And uh, he was just like, I, I was just like, I'm auditioning for like another band and like just trying to play it super cool, you know? And uh, he was just like, oh, like, who are you, uh, who are you going up to sing for? And I was just like, you know, Dylan for Skate Plan. And he was like, what? Like, what are you talking about? Like, how the fuck did you pull that off? You know, blah, blah, blah. But uh, it's so weird now because that was seven years ago, man. You know what I mean? And it went by like that. Like, I couldn't. My entire 20s has been like consumed by this band, like my identity, like everything. Like I don't, m most people that I know at this point don't even, don't know me before I was in this band, you know? So it's really weird because they just think like, oh, dude from Dillinger Escape Plan, you know? And uh, so it's, it's almost hard for me to even remember, like, because it's just been such a blur. You know, it's, it, I don't even, I don't remember almost not being in the band at this point because it's been so long, you know? But it, it's been so long, but it happened. So, it went by so fast that it's all just like you know. But do, do you still feel new? No, not at all. I mean, we've had there's two new people in the yeah. band now, so it's like kind of a, you yeah. know. You're not the old man. Now. Yeah, I'm old. It's weird. It's so weird because uh, I remember feeling like I was new, and then somehow, in like the course of a couple of years, I went from being like new to like people. Most of most of our fans at this point have never seen the band before I was in it. You know, so it's really you know, unusual because I remember when I joined feeling like so much pressure that I was like the new guy, you know, and uh, now it doesn't feel that way at all. 